I go to this folder on my server. Add Rex to DB. And I find these files. With these, I can put records into my database table. Let's look at this one first, DBase. First, I tell MySQLi to connect to the local host as a root, no password on on a standalone. And the name of the database is FNLN. I tell MySQLi that if it connects, and the only thing that it gets, well, if it tries to connect, and the only thing that it gets is an error number, then there's trouble. Echo out no connect. Concatenate that with MySQLi under connect under error. That's a string version of the error number so that I can read it, find my, and find my problem. Then that's the end of the PHP snippet. Now, let's look at index.php. I'm going to include all the code in dbase.php and index.php. And then here are my tags. HTML, my head tags, two title tags, of course, and body. Now I'm going to create a form so that I can very easily key in my data, and then it'll be put into the database. So I start off by creating my form using the form tag. Then I'm going to use the post method. The action equals address, no frills, dot PHP is telling the system that this is the file that will process all the data that I put into this form. And this will be our form. Next, I put in the close tag. Next I'm going to have an input structure type equals a text box. The programmatic name is fn and uh, the grayed out instructions in the text box will say enter f name, enter first name. And we'll call that a placeholder. And I'm going to have two carriage return line feeds. And it's going to be looking like this. Next I have another structure type text box. Programmatic name is ln. Placeholder will say enter L name, last name, then two carriage return line feeds. And this is what it will look like. Finally, uh, we have another input structure. This type is a submit button. The programmatic name is submit, and the value on it will say submit. And that's what it will look like. Here's the end of the form, end of the body, end of the HTML, end of my program. And it'll look like this. When you key in data and click on Submit, this data will get passed to the addrex.nofrills.php file. So let's look at that file. Ten lines of code only. No frills. No testing to see if the user got here the right way. No testing to see if the data fields have blanks in them. I grab the past data and put it into the database table so that you can basically see how it is done. Here we go. Include dbase.php. That puts all the code of dbase.php here. Now, I grab the first name field that was passed to this guy from the form. Notice this is the programmatic name that we used in the form. FN. I grab the FN field which was automatically placed into the dollar under post variable array. When I hit the submit button, that's when this happened. And I assign this past value, FN, to my local variable dollar FN. I do the same with LN. I take the past variable LN that has been put into the dollar under post array automatically for me when I hit the submit button and I grab that and I put it into the local variable dollar ln. Now the next thing that I do is I write my code for the for the query. I'm going to insert into the names table specifically into the first name and ln field. Those are the names of the fields in the table in parentheses comma delimited the following values. Whatever is in dollar fn enclosed within single quotes, comma, 
and whatever is contained in dollar $ln, enclosed within single quotes. And here are my doubles on the end, in a semicolon. And I assign that to the variable dollar $q. I now tell MySQL I to execute the query, MySQL I under query, and to use $Q for the instructions and $CON so that it can get in any connection information that it needs. Once that has been done, once that query has run that inserts this data, your data is now in the, in the database table. It's done. Finished. Now I tell the system that I want it to go to another location, which is index.php. That's the uh, form. And start over. And I do that with the header command. Header, yes. And go to the location, index.php. And that's it. Now let's run this. I go to my directory within my server. And I hit enter. And here are all my records. I have one, two, three, four, five, six records right now. The last one is Jose Martinez. I can localhost and add records to DB. I hit enter and it's going to execute the index.php file automatically. This will display my form on the screen. I key in Lucky Luciano and I click on the submit button. And bam, it's done. And my two fields empty out. And look over here, I'm in index.php. Ah, so this apparently seems to have worked. Let's test this and find out. I go back to my localhost AFAB program where I can list out my data records. Remember my last one, my last record was Jose Martinez. So I go back to this screen and I click on this button for refresh. And voila, there he is, Lucky Luciano. It has been added into the DBase table. Next, we'll learn to edit these records. This is George Bull.